Yo dudes, what's up? Welcome to another video. Check this out. Such beautiful background here in uh, northern Scandinavia. It's uh, got to dig the sunlight while it's out. Um, yeah, look at that. Pretty sweet out here. Um, beautiful special powder in this region. Really good for all them backcountry skiers and downhill shredders <laughs> anyways uh, I'm pretty new to this area too so I'm always blown away the sky here is amazing guys oh it's the, I've never seen a sky so crystal clear I've never seen the full moon as insane as this area I've never seen the starry sky with such clear 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 uh, air and it's something to behold um, but yeah, so I just wanted to make another video. God's been pressing it on my heart to like, you know, push out some new content. Um, I got a couple new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. That's really cool. Um, yeah. So uh, I had this dream a couple of weeks ago and it was one of those um, dreams where, you know, it's not like a normal dream. It's um, you're uh, in a heavenly realm or God's very close. Um yeah, I kind of, we should call them something other than dreams because if you, they kind of don't fit the standard uh, interpretation, like it's not the same definition. Anyways, I'm going to try to get on with the video here. <clears throat> so I'm in my dream and uh, the state and, um, and I hear um, mighty voices like majestic and powerful, like, um, it's something like you would imagine from seeing a movie where it's like this, you know, uh, like some fantasy movie with some crazy king that's not really human talks and it sort of reverberates in a hallway or something, crazy acoustics. But it's like way more than that. It's um, the voices of the heavenly beings is all pretty ridiculous and cool. It's hard to describe. Um if you hear like a recording or an audio from like some music or something or a game, that might begin to explain it a little bit. But at the same time, it's not really enough because uh, you hear it with um, your inner ear. It's not um, going through your five bodily senses, which are, how can you say, filled with um, um, issues given that we are in a mortal state you hear it directly into the spirit and it's so much more majestic it's like it would make a hi-fi audiophile jealous you know hi-fi audiophile so um what i heard is um basically what was going on is um uh there's like this conversation going on and uh lucifer was there all angry and then out of nowhere, you hear um, uh, Lord Yahweh's voice, and he says, I have a new relation. Uh, hi. So I just had to move one of the uh, local neighbors here. Um, was out and where he likes to sit, old, old man. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit uh, distracting to have somebody so close by. <laughs> But anyways, um, in the stream, I heard a voice and it was God saying, I have a new relation. And I thought, and it was mighty, of course, like I was explaining. And it was kind of, I wonder if there's some birds in the area. But uh, so I keep looking with some foresty. But I hear him say, uh, I got a new relation, super mighty, and it's making all the... Uh, fallen angels very jealous and he's talking to the relation he has with a new creation in this case being man and I wonder at the time I wondered why he said relation instead of relationship I have a new relation I heard him say and then I woke up and I pondered that I wondered why didn't he say relationship? I have a new relationship. And later, a few weeks later, he kind of clarified that as I'm thinking about it. And it's because um, he wanted to hint at the fact that uh, 
it's not really like a relationship as we would know. It's much more multidimensional. So it's the best term is relationship, but also it's like relation, like family, like a, a new connection. I don't know. It's You'll have to ponder and meditate upon that. Also, on top of all this, I'd like to add that um, very uh, lately uh, I've been getting... Um, something is like telling me in my heart like hey you know pray more fast more um be more read the bible you know really pushing for that and i wondered is this in relation to like you know everybody saying that the end is coming or connections given that the 2017 uh revelation 12 signs was fulfilled and all that and i can certainly sense that there's an uptick in urgency and I'm experiencing a whole lot more than I ever did before um, and I'd like to share those with you guys as much as I can and I find it kind of tough because there doesn't seem to be much of an audience for this type of thing and um, and uh, sometimes I feel like the full context of our understanding even in a religious sense I mean you can go to most Christians today and they have a hard time even believing that the devil's real I mean, so how can you tell them all these things that even some people are getting dreams and visions? They'll shrug it off. And we have so many scientism-related uh, rational explanations for these things. And we wouldn't even know the difference if our own thoughts are coming from ourselves or are these thoughts spun into us by demons of doubt or whatever. So, but it is what it is. And I found out that so-called gross reality was a joke even when I was a Buddhist and a meditating Buddhist and I put a lot of work into it I really did I got totally you can call it a form of obsession I dedicated everything I had into meditation and I was practicing it constantly I got to a point where I could eat my food or I could have a conversation I'm still doing the practice inside myself and I did it for years and uh and that really kind of spins, that will quote unquote open up a, a super perception where you pick up on things that, uh, and even then I had, a, at least the Buddhists say, there's no point in trying to tell other people this. This is to be shared between you and your master and other people that are in the meditative community and that have really gotten far. But what's the point? Experience makes it click, nothing else. Not what people say. And then I was talking to a good friend of mine who's uh, a missionary that I bumped into when I recently got baptized in the summer. And he said, and he knows a lot about, I mean, his dad was a preacher and I really respect his knowledge. And he said, uh, hey, Eric, did you know that it's just your job to share? It's not your job to convince. That's the work of the spirit. But your job is to share and, I, and inspire. And I thought, Wow. Finally, that's really good to hear because I can't convince anybody, no matter how much I try. Uh, what I say seems to be so far out there. Um, but anyways, hopefully this touches some of you guys. If you like the video, hit that like, leave a comment, share some stuff, you know. Uh, share the video. And um, God really said, you know, we're, we're getting human time close and things are about to happen. And he even mentioned like rapture and stuff. And I thought, hey, is that really for real? Uh, is it really going to happen? And uh, he's given me confirmation that it will, but it'll be very few people. And the tribulations are going to be bad. And uh, it's going to be, he said that things are going to happen quickly. When it happens, it happens quickly. Bang, 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 bang. And then suddenly we're in a totally different world. So um, make right, pray, you know, pray and fast. All right, guys, love y'all. Peace out.